is Carter Sinclair, and I have a confession to make. I was never a camper here at Chanko. In fact, I was a Boy Scout, so I was down the river at Pipsico. But I've been very involved in the capital campaign. And let me tell you the story of why I have been involved in the capital campaign. Early on, I was asked to do some structural assessment of the existing buildings here at Chanko. And for example, one of the things that was discussed was trying to expand Flournoy out into a larger gathering space. And in working with the architect, we determined that it was much more cost effective to build a brand new spirit center behind me where you can house all the campers and when there's a clergy event you can house all the clergy in one space. I remember once attending a clergy conference up here and we had to go over to the edge because not all the clergy could be uh, housed in one area. And then the dining hall itself, we have a new dining hall now and the original design and construction was changed so we can now accommodate all the campers in one location. So I believe that the money has been well invested up to this date in terms of the brand new infrastructure that is here now at Chanko. And then I want to talk also about how Chanko is more than just a camp from my personal experience. I've been here for vestry retreats. I've been here for deacon school. I've been here for parish retreats. I also know many people in the Crescio movement who've been here for Crescio. There have been plenty of events here at Chanko. So it is, as Bishop Holly once said, truly the spiritual center of the Diocese of Southern Virginia. Now I've given time and talent and treasure to the capital campaign at Chanko. And I hope you would join me also in considering contributing to the capital campaign. Thank you.